Piep, piep, piep. Wir haben uns alle lieb. Ja. Very good. Come the day and come the hour, come the power and the glory, re-raw, light and fresh lager. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just the whole thing. Just do the whole song. <laughs> We've come to answer our Re-Raw's call. Anyway, Re-Raw have a really cool Six Nations uh, game that they're doing because they're in pubs now. They're in pubs now. Yeah. Well, it's not called the Six Nations, is it, Killian? No, it's called the Flicks Nations. And we're is playing it? the famous sport Flickery Kickery. Where you kick a little ball with your finger, you flick it over goalposts, and it's going to be at participating pubs, and you can actually win uh, free pints of Rira in February and March, and it's actually going to be great crack, and that's got crack that they're up to. Yeah, Woo! because they're a fun brand, and they sponsor us, and thank you so much, Rira, for sponsoring us, and I hope everyone has been enjoying the delicious Rira uh, responsibly at the weekends. At Rira Beer mm. on Instagram. Thanks, bye. Bye. Because we have, this is how good a podcast host I am. Can yes. you now? Mm -hmm. So because we have our work experience um, um, students listening in uh, and watching in through the glass, mm -hmm. where did you guys do your work experience? Anything funny happen there? Well, I'll have you know mm -hmm. that I did it in the art and hobby shop oh. and it was around Christmas time and they said to me, Tony, uh, if you would like, we normally paint a big Christmas display. Uh, oh, the, on the window of the art and hobby shop. So if you would like to do that, um, you can paint whatever you want and we'll do it. So I painted a really bu topless buff Santa with like a six pack, <laughs> um, like melting a snowman with a flamethrower. <laughs> and it looked fucking shit. Oh. Like it looked bad. It wasn't well done. The proportions were all over the place. I wore, I've never worked with paint before. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes were like too close together and the mouth was all. And then they were like, okay. <laughs> okay and I went in the next day and they were like washing it all and we just didn't, oh. and we just didn't talk say about nothing it. about it yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I just said and then later on in the day I felt just really weird I wasn't talking to them all day and I was like I'm actually I might head off and they were like that's great feel free go go if you want to go and I thought I'd get in trouble and then I didn't go in the next day and it was fine grand yeah, yeah. I did one in, in a solicitor's office and on Stephen's Green and they were it was a tiny office and they weren't very they were like nice to me but you know what they did they said you drop out all this post. It was more post at the time. Uh, I franked all the posts. Didn't know Frank and Machine existed. Mm. Uh, my cousin Emmett, he Frank was on his... Mon Frank and Machine's Monster, I was trying to say. Frank and Machine's Monster? It's actually called Frank. Say it again. Say, well, pretend that, it, that, 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 that you okay. said it. Um, start again, you were saying... Uh, the, I franked all the posts. I didn't know there was such thing as a franking machine. Frank and Machine's Monster. Uh, Frank and Machine. Frank, <laughs> Frank and Machine was the doctor. Go on. Um, <laughs> well, Garmagoth... Girl, Margaret, thank you. Thanks for your for that was good. My cousin Emmett, when he was doing his work experience in some office, he was asked to frank the post as well, and he accidentally franked his tie. He franked his tie? Yeah, which franked I quite The tie like. was the monster. You've been franked by. Dr. Frankenstein. You've been franked by. No, people say, oh, there's Frankenstein. And you're like, no, Frankenstein's a monster. Dr. Frankenstein was the yeah. creator. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do with Frankenstein. So there's a meme on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he franked his tie. He rang his tie. But they sent to me then, they were like, when you're being at the post... Did they have a white tie? Will you go and get us um, abracababra? Ugh. For lunch? And, uh, yeah, for lunch. A bit weird. And then they were like, go out and get us abracababra. And it was like, I don't think that's appropriate to ask the 16-year-old to go out and get you the lunch as if there's some kind of oh, slave. Is, yeah. I thought that was a bit much. No, there is. So, uh, you think it's fine? I think it's totally fine. No, no, no I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't you want like your it. lunch order to be completely fucked up. Yeah, like, so instead of getting uh, six sandwiches, I just got one massive sandwich with six, <laughs> with six, six sandwich with six straws. <laughs> they also didn't buy me one. They didn't say like, "Oh, and you no, get yourself." Uh, F that. Which sorry. I think uh, this and this is the boom time. This, the, the boom this time is the boom time. time. Yeah. The boom time bad. Nine hundred thousand. More than the American president is. I thought sorry, that I was pretty scabby. Yuck. Them. I didn't mean to yuck agroba. Abracababra. I know Agrabah from Aladdin. No, I didn't mean to yuck Abracababra. Um, but I would not eat it before 11 p.m. Yeah, no, that's fine. Anyway, but look, I just went back to them and I said, it was closed. And they were like, it was closed? And I said, yeah, it was closed. And just lied because I just felt uncomfortable with the whole thing. Oh, that's great. And I, then I, another day I, I went out for lunch and where did I go for lunch? Met my father and we went to Captain America's, which I think is quite cute. That's super that's nice. cute. Yeah. Oh, what did you get then? Just burgers or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Killian? <laughs> oh, did you I, do Rocky uh, Spoons? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Um, I did in a pet shop. <laughs> mm. And uh, I would just fill bags of seed. Um, mm. And I'd do that for a couple of hours and then they'd let me go home. Lord has come. If it feels like there's <laughs> a Lord lag come, Lord is great. Uh, on this podcast, it's not a lag. Uh, like, it's a, like it's a jet lag. I am jet lagged. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, that was so that beautiful. That is the most jet lagged. <laughs> uh, if there's a lag on if this a lag, podcast, there is a lag. A lag. But there is a lag. But it's jet lag. It's because <laughs> I'm jet lagged. <laughs> Killian, you're back. Do you know what? I, can I just say as well, actually, mm. um, when Tony arrived today, he said I was just going to say the same thing, and he said I missed you, and I said I missed you. I'm so it feels like to see you. Eight, yeah. I was literally going to bed last night, going, mm. I can't wait to come in tomorrow yeah. because we had to do double up last time because yeah. Killian was away, and we haven't been here in ages, and I'm delighted. Yeah, this yes. is the first podcast in a while. I'm just back from New York City. You were this morning. Are you jet lagged? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am and what does it feel like for me and the other people who've never travelled internationally like that? to time zones like it's got all the trappings of being sick but you don't actually have any like ailments like mm. your kind of head is foggy your knees weak arms are heavy knees, arms are heavy there's, there's spaghetti on your sweater already Who's is it <laughs> your mom's <laughs> my mom's oh, spaghetti my yeah oh my god no my granny's recipe uh, <laughs> <laughs> my granny's goulash on my mm. sweater um, <laughs> no it's so it's weird I think I'm in a weird headspace. Uh, I was just in New York City now I'm in Dublin this, it's Did weird. you go to sleep? I, I slept a bit on the plane. I was you came in at half 3 a.m.? Half 3 in the morning. Uh, sorry, just sorry. Before it gets away from me, I've been trying to get a joke in there. Yes. Oh, please. Okay. When you said goulash on my sweater, yeah. I was going to say, oh, yeah, that iconic bit from eight kilometers. <laughs> 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 sorry, go on. So there's uh, eight kilometers would be the sort of the German-Polish version of yeah. eight mile. Yeah. That's good. But how do you say M M? M and M in German. Well, it wouldn't be M and M, M und M. M and uh, M. But it would be, okay. what's B rabbit? B rap, uh, B hasen. B hasen. B hasen. B hasen in B hasen as the neue MC from the West Seite of Berlin. <laughs> I, I have a joke, I think. Oh, yeah. What do they, How does it feel like? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what do they eat at Halloween in Budapest? <laughs> you look so happy. Hungarian ghoulish. That's fun. Is that a joke? <laughs> Years ago, I used to have a joke that why, I wanted to do goulash. a hug. Goulash. goulash. Oh, goulash works fine. Goulash. Yeah. 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 Goulash. It's, a, it's just the same thing. Same thing. I mean, I used to <laughs> want to dress up as a panther and go, help the Halloween panther. I thought that was so funny. Help the Halloween panther? You know, like help the Halloween party? No. No. Help the Halloween party is a thing. People are screaming at home now, going, of course. It's like you say, help the Halloween party. It's like you go around and you're supposed to get things from everybody to make a big Halloween party. So oh. that's what trick-or-treating, a version of trick-or-treating. Anyway, they sometimes say it, I think, in the provinces. This sounds know. very rural for some yeah, people. Okay. I think it is rural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave House Cross out of this. Okay. <laughs> Take House Cross, Cross out of your, your motherfucking mouth. mouth. <laughs> but I just thought that was a funny joke myself. When you yeah. were sitting there going, help the Halloween panther, <laughs> dressed as a panther. I don't know, I thought that was funny. <laughs> it, well, it's good. Oh, you, yeah. you, 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 because neither of us knew what you were talking about. But so. the people at home know. Sorry. They Living know. in America. What were you going to do? You were, you were saying? New York. Uh, no, we were on the plane. Concrete jungle. And we watched two episodes of The Traders. Nice. Uh, which we downloaded and had that on the laptop. Clever. And wow. then uh, and then slept. Um, uh, but while we were on the plane, we had a funny thing happen to us. Mm. Um, Anna, who's a very nervous flyer, she was doing some things like we were on we were on a plane. We went to in New York, but we were going to Puerto Rico. We were in Puerto Rico, and Anna was on the plane, and she's Puerto a nervous Rico? flyer. I'm Puerto Rico. Um, <laughs> In Puerto Rico. Uh, <laughs> Puerto Rico. Whispering. Puerto Rico. And uh, Puerto Rico. We, were, we were on the plane. She's a nervous flyer. I am too, but because she gets so nervous, I have to kind of like put on a you front. You sober up yeah. almost. But she yeah. really like almost gets, and it's inter- internally I'm freaking out. But she's like, the plane's going too high. She's like, going to, she's leaning on me, looking around like like a ferret, like just like, ah, ah. and she's like, Killian, the plane's going too high. The plane <laughs> is going too high. And I'm like, it's not, Anna. That's just your anxiety. You're fine. It's like the plane is literally going. She's like, do you not notice? If you look at the window, it's still going up. We've been going up for like 15 minutes. It's like the plane is too high. And I'm like, it's not going too high. It's not going too high. In my head, I'm like looking at the windows going, jeez, it does look like it's, it's pretty, pretty high. Pretty oh my high. God. It's like, like, it's looking pretty high out there. She's like, it's, it's, I don't know. No one else is paying attention, but the plane is going too high. Um, and then, so she's a nervous flyer already. And then mm. we're on the flight coming home. And she's like freaking out. <laughs> freaking out. And then she starts tapping me. I'm trying to watch Succession. She's like tapping me. 
She's like, Gillian, oh Gillian. And I'm like, it's okay. The plane's okay. She's like, I got the thing stuck in my ear. And I was like, what? what? She got the rubber bit of the <laughs> earphone. Oh my God. was lodged inside oh her my ear. God. <laughs> and then, and then she, she's like, oh, I got it stuck inside her ear. I think it'll be a simple case of pulling it out. Unfortunately, I cut my nails. Okay. Oh, lovely. So I've got no nails to get in there. Anyway, she doesn't want nails. She wants a proper, like, you know, medical equipment. Tweezer. Could we have the could we have the earbud removal tool, please? <laughs> As if there's a thing. Anyway, like we're we haven't met an Irish person in ages because we've been in New York and then Puerto Rico. We um we we're on Aer Lingus, wonderful guy walks by, but he's a real Irish person, like just jovial and fun and like immediately familiar with us. Mm. And Anna's on the we're on the plane and uh, Anna's like I was like, excuse me, sir. Um, uh, my partner here has the things st uh, stuck in her ear. And he goes, oh, what? You have the thing stuck in your ear. And then I was like, yeah, and, like getting a bit embarrassed because like at the plane, everyone can hear. Yeah. And then like there's another air host like across the way and he goes, do you have any, do you have a tweezers or something like that? She's after getting the thing stuck in her ear. And Anna's just like, like touching no. his arm going, it's okay, it's okay. I'll just leave it in there. He's like, I've never seen that happen. And the other guy's like, in her ear, she got the thing stuck in her ear. <laughs> Everyone in the plane is like looking at each other going, do you hear that? The girl's got the bloody ear but stuck in her ear. She's like freaking out. And then I just like, she goes to the back. He's like, maybe they have one at the back. We go to the back and then, uh, and then they manage to find what looks like the sole function of this thing is, is to remove earbuds from right. the person's ear. Perfect right. utensil. And Anna says, can you do it? Because she's like, the guy The guy was, it was great, but it was so like fun and a bit of a laugh. Uh, that she's like, I don't know if he's going to take this seriously. He'll probably be like whispering punchlines into my ear while he's taking the thing out. So I did it. Um, like he'd probably be like, oh, I'm after sticking it down there even more. Or something. Yeah, so, that kind of banter. Um, so she just wanted someone serious to do it. So I took it out, got it out easy. And then we watched two episodes of The Trader and slept for the rest of the fight. It was nice. That's lovely. Yeah. Was it a small tweezers? No, it was like literally, it was like a large plastic thing with rounded edges. It was it was an earbud removal tool. I can't wow. describe it in any other way. There's nothing else that would be good for. Do you know what you need to do next time? Right, this is what you do. Tell her to close her mouth. You put two of your fingers up her nose, <laughs> another one in that ear, and then suck her ear. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you get it out. Suck the other ear. Suck that one. A straw. I was thinking work? about that, a straw. Yeah, you just have to create a vacuum. <laughs> it's not all linked up like that, though, is it? It's not all I don't know if any other hole is in there. Ear, nose, and You're throat. You're not a tin whistle. Like, it's not like you, you blow in one hole, it comes out the other. <laughs> you know? I just put two on my nostril and then blow into her ear and then play Fleur de Lis. This plane is Boar's Head. <laughs> Can you believe it? Never, never see the likes. <laughs> it's a whistle up top, but. The other holes are saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sexy. Okay, um, well done and well done. I love Anyways, a long. Good, I yeah. love a long flight. Well, I do on the way, but on the way back, it's I'm I'm, I'm in bits. I'm so tired. Uh, really, what, how comfy was the seat? It was good. It was good seat. Good seat. Yeah. Do you do anything to to support your neck? They have the things that fold in. Yeah, but do they? Um, yeah, they do. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I feel like it's suitable for for lanky boys like you. You know I'm the things not people lanky, have I'm proportional to my size. Whatever. <laughs> you, could, you could fill out a bit more. You know when people go around with um, the things on the plane that like those neck things, uh, they're not real. Uh, they don't do anything. Do they do anything? There's Actually, some very they good ones. They, they they apparently we saw a guy because we were looking at. I'm skeptic. And he said how to go on the plane. He said immediately put the seat back if mm. you want to have good like not back pain or anything like that, immediately put the seat back and then wrap a towel around your neck. It's apparently better because it gives you more 330 mm. support. Also, those kind of cushion things that go around, they don't actually clasp in and give you the support needed adequately to keep your posture good. I don't know. I mean, I don't really... I, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel fine. It's just my brain that's completely foggy now. I used to have one of those things for... And I would bring it with me whenever I flew back because I would get the latest... The cheapest and latest possible flight back from London to Dublin, which was always like like 10 p.m. And I'd get in like, you know, mm. probably with all the delays that would happen, like half 11. But I had this like ostrich hood. It was like a hood that you could like kind of hide in. You could put your arms in like that. And it was for perfect for, oh, I forgot the microphone was there. <laughs> you could like just lie on the, uh, on the tray. Yeah. But like you would kind of like, you would, it was like literally like a hood cave. You would put it over your yeah, head. I know and it, would, it was padded and it was padded for your neck. And you could put your hands in there and sleep like that. And I loved what? it. Yeah, you kind of like just crawl into this little... But what if the person next to you needs to get out and they're like, oh, how am I going to pass this man? I would always get the window seat 
I would always purposely. This is the only thing I would splurge for if I had to select my seat. I'm and getting it. I get today. the aisle because I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't want to disturb anybody else. I'm too upset. I'd be like, I'm just gonna. What if I have to pee twice? And oh my god! And so I just get the aisle. I don't care if anyone financially. Me. You're you're paying less for this late flight, mm. but then you're adding in the the charge for the window seat. Mm. Does that not equal up to an no. earlier flight? Not usually. It would only be like a tenner in the difference. You know, but then I would, John, I've always realized that if there was something that I was trying to save, like, say, 10 quid to like 20 quid in, mm. like, say, if I was like, oh, no, I'll go with the cheaper option or I'll go with a time that has 5 a.m. Uh, that saves me 30 quid. Every single time I regret that. Every single time I'm like, do you know what? Mm. Uh, with with everything that I've had, the rigmarole I've had to do to comfort myself here. Mm. It's so early now. I've kind of like eaten something that I didn't want to eat and I've spent money. I've, I've done something here to comfort myself in a mm. weird way that it would have been just better to go with the time that I was going to go on. You know, yeah, we don't really have an option now. We have to just go for all the most expensive flights now with the kids. It's always like in the middle of the day. It's always not too early, oh, not yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is nice, I have to say. It is probably how you're supposed to travel, but it's very expensive. You know, what was it like? Uh, what's it like flying with kids? I had a kid behind me who was like, I'm too much of a. I love. I'm great. I love kids. Great with kids, mm -hmm. and like, I should maybe be a bit more of a grumpy adult because there was a toddler behind me, literally like just booting my chair. Mm -hmm. And I was like trying to sleep and I was just like jolting like boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom. And it was looking at me and I was just like, oh, the little kid behind me. Actually, he's just playing with the seat. He's playing with the seat. So, just like literally just go boom, boom. I like I look back and he's staring right at me like trying to get me to get annoyed. If that was my kid, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about it. I'm, you're all on your, you're on your luxury jet as far as I'm yeah. concerned. I'm on fucking Con Air mm. with fucking Cyrus the Virus here, right? <laughs> so at your own discretion, you know, do not come close to these cons. They will bite your fingers off. All right, and it's best for everyone just to keep away. I don't give a fuck. I was in, I was in Dublin Airport. You mean airport. you don't give a fuck? You're going to let him kick someone's no, chair? No, I probably will. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm so you're so in the shit that I actually do not give a fuck about anyone else around me. I don't care. He was eating grapes off the floor in <laughs> Dublin Airport, and some woman was all like. Uh, Sorry, just to let you know your son's, uh, you're, well, actually call him a girl as well, pissed me off. That little girl's eating grapes. And I was all like, and, I, and then I was like, Sonny, will you stop? And then I was like, actually, do you know what? Keep eating the grapes. And then I started eating the grapes off the floor, <laughs> looking her in the eyes. Just like his daddy does. It's such fucking pure hell that I, I'm sorry. It will spill over. And then yeah. you'll have kids and then that'll happen to you. Mm -hmm. It is just a bit of understanding that has to go. Now, luckily, my kids don't cry, so it's not a huge kind of sound inconvenience to anyone else. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're crawling on me. It's I like used to, oh my God, the fucking joy. I would sit there. I would pop my noise cancelling headphones on. I would have a perfect bag, perfectly packed that wasn't too much. I would put my coat up there. I would sit there. I'd have my leg room, even Aer Lingus, like your Ryanair leg room. But now that's full of fucking plastic bags of shit. <laughs> and I would just sit there. Headphones on, listen to a podcast, play my Nintendo Switch, and it was absolute. I'm actually getting emotional. Yeah, you <laughs> really have changed. Emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking yeah. about it, it's gone. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm not even messing. I'm crying now. That's gone for a while. All right, I will get it back. <laughs> Your kids. So I don't. Do you give wanna, a do you, you, we can stop anytime. You no, 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 no. So I don't give a. I don't give a fuck. If that kid is, yeah, but I don't mind. That I think screaming. I would say no. I would screaming, say screaming. No. Screaming. They can't help it. All that stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay. No one can stop them, but. If someone was kicking my chair, I would want to kill you. If I, your child totally kicked fine. my chair, I'd be like, you, you're a bastard. Totally fine. There was a very That's funny kid me. on our flight out of Puerto Rico. <laughs> me and I were laughing. He was very, very funny, but he was like, God, the plane was taking off. No, it was taking off. He was like, no! <laughs> That's, and, then, and then when we were in the air, he was just screaming, and then he went, "Why, Mama? Why?" Oh, oh that's good. I was like, I feel the exact same way. I'm just not vocalizing it like he is. No. You have to tell kids, like you have to tell kids if like it's five minutes before you have to turn the TV off, and then you have to count it down. You have to tell kids if you're going to the shop and what they might see in the shop, right? <laughs> So to put a kid on something and not tell them, presumably, this, is good, this bus that they've got now is going to take off into the sky, it's going to fucking destroy them. And out of no, it's going to be normal and then nowhere. really loud and wobbly, yeah, yeah, yeah. really quickly. Oh, fuck, I didn't tell you no, it flies. <laughs> no, why, mama? No, why, mama? Why, no, mama, no. mama, why? <laughs> <laughs> Little Italian baby. Mama, what is happening? Mama, why? <laughs>
<laughs> I had a glorious trip. My previous trip when I went on Holliers was with a big group of people and then the other day it was just by myself going oh. to London. Um, I'll talk about that now in London as well but I have to say I really enjoyed the f- I much prefer going on your own. I love it. Mm. I go to the toilet whenever you want. You buy whatever food you want. You do whatever. Do you normally ask for your permission to go to the toilet? No, it's just that like, hold on, I don't, I'm sick. Of, like sometimes I just oh, think yeah, it's, yeah. So anno- it's so nice on your own. It's like much an easier experience. You're like, mm. you do whatever. You don't have to ever talk to anyone. Uh, I had a fucking, oh, excuse me. Oh no, I'm allowed. <laughs> 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 I had a fucking great time in the city of London. Yes, mm-hmm. great city. You were gigging. I did a show, and I tell you, I was when I started. I was sat down the day before, and I was like, "Grant, just do the show. Done it before." Like, and then I was like, "I haven't done the show since September." Mm. I was like, "I don't remember how all these pieces sewed together." Mm. And I had to work in the hotel room then, which I thought was going to be nice, but actually it was a very small hotel um, room. And he's like, "You've we've been upgraded." And I was like, "What was the downgrade option? This is a shoebox of hell." Oh wow. Um, but oh my god we they'll all tell you anyone who's listening in we had a good time didn't we we had we had such a good time then. yes uh, I had Roger O'Sullivan who's a really good comedian from Cork London base he did support Lovely man. but Follow we had man, I just had so much fun doing it we had such a good time I feel like I feel like not even like toot my own horn I feel like everyone had a good time I feel like we all had a good buzz that's great right. we were on the same on the same wavelength wavelength mm, did, you, did you get chatting to anyone uh, on, on while we were on stage yeah, I did chats. I did lots of chats with people. There was one, people made weird noises. I am um, a lesbian went, yes. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> there was a girl called Kira, you know, that kind of thing, who I just made up a whole story about. Um, ah. <laughs> Kira, uh, she's listening. That was great. But I said at one point, here's my good joke I did, right? So I said... There was only one. I said, <laughs> no, I just an off-the-cuff one that, that's shareable. So I said, we can rehearse it. So I said, I was talking about Scottish people, and I said, is anyone Scottish? Mm-hmm. And somebody said yes, but they said yes, kind of like this. Yes. Kind of like a little yelpish. Mm-hmm. So... This is how quickly I what I did next. Okay, so Tony, you'll be the Scottish person. Mm-hmm. So is anyone here Scottish? Yes. Oh, wait, hold on, I fucked it up. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm panicked. Because I'm panicked. I think I do a better yes in a Scottish. Do you want to do, do it? I do a better this Scottish is... accent. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll do it again. Okay, this is how fast I went. Tony's really upset. Okay, so the little yelp. Okay, Tony, you're fired. Sorry. No, but mm-hmm. it's my fault. Um is anyone Scottish here? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, more like a dog. You didn't do it right. But you're I supposed to yell. To me. Take it off him. You're fired. Off Tony, oh it's a yell. The point yeah. was the yell, but it's yeah, not yeah. about I've been training for this role my whole life. Okay. <laughs> you are fired. Scottish. Okay, so back to Tony. Um, okay, so is anyone here Scottish? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> about Scottish Terrier, apparently. <gasps> and oh. that's how quickly I said it. And then, yes. then after that, and then I went, look how, did you see how fast that was? <laughs> I was like, couldn't even resist it. Faster um, than a no. Scottish Terrier. I've been shitting about doing the full show though. I tell you, I mm. didn't, you know, when you don't realize, I was like, oh my God, this is all well and good, going around doing gigs 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But I was like, but oh my God, an hour, an hour and five minutes hour, by yourself. I was like, what am I going to do? And now I'm like, I cannot wait for this mm. tour or tour, as they call it in some way. I cannot wait. I'm mm. like, oh my God, this is going to be so much fun. We're going to have such a good time. I love it, love it, love it, love it. That's great. Well done. That's so great. I'm ju- that's brilliant. And Kira, shout out Kira, to Kira. Excellent. Kira was great. How is New York? This guy's this guy's playing the fucking comedy hey, store. This New York guy did a uh, did a few shows in New York. And you know what's cool about New York? I'm New York in here. I, I did a very small little show that was it was good because uh, the guy when I was going through we always get hassled when we go through. I don't even know if it's wise to talk about this, but like we always get hassled when we go through the the you know. Did you get grilled? Ordering. You were nervous when yeah, you I left last time. Yeah, get grilled every time. Yeah. Uh, every time you can call you a a cheese sandwich. Yes, because I get grilled every time I go into New York City. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we're flying to America, because we did J1s, they're always suspicious of people who did J1s. So they just want to, you know, ask you what you did when you were there and all this kind of stuff. And um, and so they're grilling us and stuff. And he's like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I'm a comedian. And he's like, you're not going to do any shows when you were in New York City. And I was like, ha, one day. One day. Good, yeah. Of course, Good. what I meant with one day was this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of the days. Yeah. Did you say that on stage? One of the days that I'm there. And I got to say, like, uh, you know, my first show in America. Um, and I was like, uh, this show is technically illegal. Mm. And you are all accomplices to the crime. Oh, um, that's good. So that was kind of a nice kind of setup to it. But it was only a 10-minute spot. And it was not illegal because I was not paid for it. So I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I didn't I, th- I, I, I don't know I, please don't wrap me out if mm. there's anyone what show was it how did you book it who, oh, who uh, really a uh, nice uh, comedian in <laughs> in America called Aiden Kelly who uh, who booked me uh, Katie Boyle and, oh uh, yeah NYC Katie Comics. Boyle yeah, she yeah, put yeah. me onto him and, uh, and it, was just, it was just a small little like you know room and it was cool to see like the American comics mm. uh, they're great they're, there's more of like a do you know what they do a lot in American comedy 
uh, stand up, they talk about the pro- the process or the form a lot more, which I don't, I don't know if I'm a fan of, but like they're very on clearly stage. working on. In Ireland, I feel like the comedians, we all engage with the lie that this is stuff that we're just coming up with on the spot. And it's like not, we've never thought about it before. We're just kind of thinking about it now. Mm-hmm. Whereas in America, they're really like, well, I just noticed that they're very like, well, I do this joke. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do that joke. Okay, so this is the joke. And then they'll tell the joke. Or they go, all right, what will I finish on? Or I've got one more. So I'm going to do one more joke. So I'll talk about, will I talk about my boyfriend recently is playing a lot of PlayStation? Or will I talk about uh, the new depression? Med-? And they'll just tell you that they they're doing the joke before the joke. That is. That's when they're working on it. Neither right? of those jokes sound interesting. Well, yeah. I made them up. Steve Fair Martin enough. once said that people don't want to see comedians be funny. They want to see regular people be funny. So yeah. you actually, there has to be a level of regularity or, you know, it has to just, you know. But it is always impressive so. when they, I thought the standard was very high and everyone was very really good. But I was just like, oh, that's an interesting difference between the two of them. Well, um, I definitely noticed that when all the American comedians come over to Ivy Gardens, like the first 10 minutes that are said, it's always all like, so I got this flight. <laughs> it's always like, it's literally just like the last day that they've had. <laughs> And maybe a, a funny detail or some funny yeah. detail, but it's always... It was, I'm sorry, just to say anyone who, uh, that was, the, everyone was very funny. It was actually very high standard, which I was really impressed by. But the cool thing that happened mm. to me in New York, I obviously lived there for a while. And I think I'm coming back on, like, I think I know more people there than I do. I went to a bar across the road in 86, Upper East Side, random bar, behind the bar, my friend Kenneth, who I went to college with. Right nice. behind the bar. We wow. actually moved uh, at the same time over. And he's there. And he's still there. Is he l- illegal? He he there. Sorry? Is he there legally? He is there legally. You can't ask that. But yes, he is. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Were you expecting to see him? And I wasn't at all. It was amazing. We had a drink and we, we were like, Jesus, what's going on here? And uh, Kenneth and Shannon are getting married this oh. year. Congrats to them. Congrats to and, them. Uh, and then we go down to the um, lower east side, the east village. And uh, no, we go to the east village, not the lower east side. There's two <laughs> different places. And go to a bar beside Tompkins Square Park, go into a bar behind the bar. Kenneth. It's bloody Heather. It's bloody no. Heather behind the bar who I used to work for on Stone Street. So it's, it's wow. I know everyone behind the bar in New York City. And I was saying this to my friend and she was like, I was like, isn't it crazy? I know, I know everyone in New York City. And it's like, she's like, I think it just sounds like you know all the bartenders. Mm, I, was true. Like, I was like, excuse me. Mm. Keep your I judgment to yourself. I the point over there. It depends. You can get expensive. We got a Bellini for fourteen dollars. Ah, fuck that. Yeah, and then you tip on top of that. But like, you can also get you know, six dollar beers. Like, it's it's not. All know, right. It's not. You can find the right places. Dive bars, which is where we spend our time. And it was great. New York's great. You should all go. I've I think never. I'm, do you know the last time I was in New York City? Two thousand and one. <laughs> what? I was. <laughs> you in New York City in mother March. Fuck. In March of two thousand and one. Right. I missed. 9-11 by just six months. Jesus Christ. I could have been there. <gasps> well, so. You would have have to have been flying from where? Um, what flight was Seth McFarlane uh, allegedly not on? <laughs> he was meant to be on a flight. It, it, well, also, you could have just been in the downtown area. I got to see the... And you know what as so well? So you're a survivor. Am I boring you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Sorry. Tell I Tell your I, face and posture. No, I... <laughs> I mean, what I was going to say was really boring. <laughs> I was going to say I went to a TK Maxx beside. I honestly, Tony, I honestly think that I was like, whatever he's going to say now is going to take a while. So I'll just think of something else for after that. And I, I feel so bad about that. You should. Not that yours would be boring. No, you're right. He literally survived 9-11. By six months. By six months he survived yeah. it. Yeah. And let me tell you, the Twin Towers were really big when I saw them. Yeah. You had to crane your neck and it hurt. I actually had to walk about 200 metres away from it, just so I could see it. How old were you? 13. 2001, I would have been... 14. 13, 13 if 14. you're there, if you're there, yeah. You okay. are 13, going on 14. <laughs> um, and in Tower 7, the one that was a, a staged explosion. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> God. Uh, was, they used to have a TK Maxx there, and I bought two pairs of boxer shorts in there. Oh. Extra large, that's all they had. And they, one of them had a funny smiley faces on them. And the other one had loads of uh, chat up lines on oh. them. And I thought, this is great. And birds are going to love this. But they were like board shorts that I wore under my jeans. <laughs> and birds never saw them. And they never saw them. And also, like, they were so long 
that they were just draped. It was like a kilt. And I wore them all the time. And they would always bunch up. It looked like I had a nappy yeah. on whenever yeah, yeah, I wore them. They would bunch up. They were uncomfortable. But I felt sexy. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> you know? The first time I had boxer shorts was my first Holy Communion. It yeah. was my first pair of boxer shorts. And they had... He's uh, not a man. <laughs> Put his boxer shorts. He's not a man. He is not a man. He's not a man. Don't come here and give him his boxer shorts. Give him his boxer shorts. They had Taz on them. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's had, again? Oh, yeah. Tasmanian Devil. They had him all mm. over them. Uh, yeah, they're my first ones. Yeah. Mm. Do you have an affinity with Taz because of that? I think so. I really, I like Taz. I yeah. still, I liked him at the time. I liked it. Because I have this thing in my head where, you know, do you remember like shit you would have just uh, on your, you might have had stickers up on your wall or you might have had the same sticker stuck to okay. your bed frame for yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there would have been like a poster that was always on but your. We had divan yeah. beds, so we wouldn't have had a frame. Divan. Isn't that what that's called? Those beds that aren't like... <laughs> what? Sorry, you're so angry at me. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you, said, you a, said a sticker on your bed frame and then I was like just going to do some stupid jokes I didn't have a bed frame. No, anyway, a divan? A divan is a bed that's like a bed and a mattress on top of it, like a, just a flat thing. You know, and it has a drawer in the bottom. Oh, oh you might have to cover it with a valance. Does she used to present? You know, this Stop she's... making up nouns. No, no, valance is the sheet that... used to present <laughs> Big Brothers Big Bad. A valance is the Please sheet that goes swear. under and drapes around. That oh, like yeah. that my mother would be annoyed at us and was like, they haven't even put the valance on, right? <laughs> like stuff like that. You, valance. You had to put your own valance on your own bed. No, it was see the valance never really got washed. It'd be dusty then. I don't know. Do you know what other thing reminds me of? The valance of your house is the fascia board. Did you ever hear this one? Sure. Oh, what are you this is like this about? fucker speaking German. Yeah, no, the fascia. Your fascia board oh, is the I'm, bit underneath so the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy oh. nouns. You've got three different nouns no. for things you might have on a normal bed. Okay, Valance anyway, your affinity with someone Whatever. you might have on a sticker. Turquoise fascia boards, but the Valens. <laughs> the Valens. The Valens was mauve, and the Divan was turquoise. People are going to be messaging me going, by, love the podcast this week, and by the way, you're so right about the Divan bed and fascia board. Don't mind them. People are going to be saying that. They send me all sorts. You. Actually, I have something. Oh, no. Oh, yeah? I have um, uh, bitines for you both. Bitines. Yeah. Okay. So here's Killian's bitine that I've been. It's been reported to me. Go with me. Um, yeah. So somebody messaged me, and they'd never messaged me before. This is their first message to me. Well, thank you. I think my fondest memory of Killian Sunderman <gasps> is the time we were seven years old playing in the garden and I was getting pissed off that everyone was using my slide so in protest I sat at the top of my slide and refused to go down so he couldn't use the slide and then he started crying and his mum, Fiona, came out and said Killian, Avian has been very generous this weekend with her toys and I think it's okay if she doesn't want you to use her slide and he sat on the ground and cried and I felt such power. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now, this is very confusing because she said her name is Avine, but her, her Instagram is also... Um, I know who it is. Yeah, Jane. I know exactly who it is. I'll who go for She went further. Oh, um, another fun memory is when we were using... The McShanes the, are coming for me. And the McShanes? I'm trying to do... I'm trying to, do, I'm trying to live my life and the McShanes are coming for me. <laughs> great name. Great name. McShanes. McShanes. Son of Shane. Of course, I will never create children of my own <laughs> no. due to my affliction of <laughs> cocksuckery. <laughs> Um, another fun memory is when we're using the lid of a large storage bin to slide down the stairs in his house. Great childhood thing to do. Mm. Yeah. Get th we one time, my mum had friends over and my dad let us put the cardboard from the new fridge on the stairs and slide down it. He just let us do wow. it. Wow. Oh. Even the, like, the women Jackass. were all down there like talking about mum stuff yeah. and he let us do it. I was like, this is pretty cool. He great. was like, my boys, my boys are going to slide down the stairs and slide away. He wanted out of that chap big Anyway, time. eventually <laughs> you both toppled over and we were both crying and Fiona, your mum, showed yes. up and said, I love this what did you think was going to happen oh, I love but it was it. a great bonding moment for us and his mom still sends me a fiver in a card every Christmas what? it's a funny situation because it's it's my mum my mum and Claire they they are both the birthday like they are on it with, with the birthdays Cards and birthdays, Claire yeah. is she she is so on it with the birthdays mm. yeah but it's the like, point is you're obviously I got you more were obviously more regularly from her than I do my actual parents it's wow. incredible you were obviously a spoiled rotten little child is that it you wanted to get your own way I you was, didn't get as I prize. said you I'm were not the youngest, the youngest for a while, child weren't you? but I had a lot of time at, at the bottom at the top so mm. to speak um, mm. <laughs> hey <laughs> honey hey, yeah. hey. Mm. Was not the only cocksuckery around here hey hey it's called being verse started at the bottom now I'm in the middle yeah nice heart but yeah so I kind of might have been a little bit bratish um I do think she sounds kind of a scabby bitch, though. No, let yeah, him go on the slide as much as you want. Aiden, you, 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 want to, you know, you let everyone use the slide, but what's going on? She's it's a this, slide. Why is she Rosa Parksing the slide? Yeah, it has a million... Down at the top. That's exactly the same. 
That's exactly the same. She's it's very Rosa like Rosa Parks. Parks. She Rosa Parks mm. in the slide, which actually annoyed me. Actually, the Rosa Parks. She <laughs> <laughs> irritated me. For God's sake! Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you're right, Kevin. Rosa oh. Parks does need to be things. No, so that's I, 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 I think it's. Um, I think I was doing what I had to do, which was civil disobedience in the spirit of Rosa Parks. Actually, actually, mm. yeah, you're Rosa Parks in this instance. I Rosa yeah. Parks her, and uh, uh, I re- Rosa Parks her Rosa Park. And uh, should have hooved her down. No, I think I think I think the, the you know what the, the McShane Sunderman Alliance is it's tearing apart at the seams, it's tearing apart at the seams because of this attack. I I think let bygones be bygones, but she's brought it back up. Let's just see what happens, okay? Let's see if that fiver continuously comes at Christmas because I can intercept my mother's mail. <laughs> yeah, you watch oh, yeah. yourself. <laughs> You're still at home. Hey, hey. No, um, I'm just checking. When no, he's moving I'm not to the new house. We have we we are still currently at home um, mm. with my parents, but good news, we will be moving to Hanaha. Do you wow. want to say where you're going to live? Explain it. Ranala. Oh yeah, they say it weird, don't they? No, it's called Ranala, and then sometimes people say Renla, and then they think it's posh to say Ranala, which is silly because it's just that's actually just the correct pronunciation. Renla. Renla. Well, yeah. I'm, we, yeah, we, got, we found an apartment, so it's, it's not not amazing. That's amazing news. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it's like we really, already covered that. Okay, well, we're, we talked about it's it the best thing ever. We talked about it offline. Um, and uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy and so grateful to, to the podcast fans for helping me get through this by saying that my mi- the people kept commenting and sending messages saying, Killian's misery is funny. Could he please talk yeah. about his misery more? Yeah. They're like, Killian's life is so shit right now. I'm finding it really funny. Could he please talk about that more? Well, guess what? I'm moving up in the world. I'm moving to Ranala, one of the like nicest areas. You're going to lose so many fans. This is going to be like my yeah, dad lost am, the way. I am not relatable. Mm. I am a different class to all you guys. Okay. I am not Sorry, relatable this is anymore. Also the, like last week, you're also like, I was on the train and I was thinking to myself, they don't know that I'm different than them. <laughs> like there's a bit, there's an edge coming out to you. <laughs> You're the you're the likable. You're meant to be the likable no, down to earth. No, because they're all saying one. Killian's life is so shit. Like, talk more about that and all this kind of stuff. I want, I want, I like. I've got my, I've got my one bed in Ranala. Okay, I'm moving up in the world. Okay, I'm moving up in the world. You moving guys won't know me next now. week. We'll all live quite close together then. Yeah, we will be. Yeah, it's a shame curve. we don't ever want to see each other outside of this. Well, like, have you got a bit team for me? <laughs> I have a bit team for Tony. Right? Oh, don't say what it is. Oh Killian. my goodness. Okay, no, okay. So well, thank, sorry, Avian. All, all that being said, sorry, just. Love the McShane so much. They're love the McShane's, even though she is they are a family. slide stealing bitch. <laughs> slide stealing. Mm. Um, so the other day I was thinking I have to go on telly in a while, and I was thinking, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my teeth whitened because I was looking at the Drag Race queens and the ones who haven't got them whitened, their teeth look so yellow because everyone on TV has mm. this pervasive uh, blue white teeth now. Yes. And anyway, I was so I was inquiring, and then one of the sections on the website was like celebrity clients. And I'm flicking through, you know, there's the Greg O'Shea's, there's the influencer gals, rug players, sports players. And who appears next in the celebrity gallery? You're joking me. <laughs> it's totally Anthony dope. Cantwell. Oh Anthony Cantwell. With the orange glasses with on and everything. orange glasses. Um, I what don't, did you get done I, and why are you in the celebrity gallery? I don't want to specify this whole thing. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe we can, <laughs> no, we no, can no, pull it fine. if you want. It's fine, but just let's not specify. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> this, this dentist... Right. Approached me at uh, at a at the Gossies, and offered me free dental work to get free whitening. So we we took the mold. We didn't actually f- follow through yet. I think we got the kind of the cleaning or whatever. Mm. Um, and then I saw that they had added everyone that I follow, including my friends, on Instagram. Oh my god! Which I was a bit weirded by. Then they asked me specifically to to post like a poll for them. And it was just getting a little bit. And then they kept calling and they kept kind of. And I just got a weird. I mean, I kind of got a weird vibe. I got a weird so vibe. So you didn't get the treatment. I got the treatment once and I posted being like, thanks. But then I was getting a weird. I thought that this dentist. It sounds like. This t- dentist was like very bubbly and very like excited. And I was like, oh, it seems like a kind of cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. Exactly. it's kind of like the first person you make friends with on holidays. You know, mm. and then oh, yeah, by the careful. third day of the holiday, you're like. Okay, you know, with the greatest respect, but it was it, was, it came on very intense. It's, then. Co- it's sounding a lot like the plot of the talented Mr. Ripley. It was. <laughs> <a> little, <laughs> it's like they're slowly they're adding all of your friends. Suddenly they change their profile picture, yeah. and their name to Tony Horror, and then they get glasses. Well, I was just one of those messages off. <laughs> it's it's like Saltburn. <laughs> hey. What do you guys think of the sleaze? Do people know that that's the sleaze? I feel like people aren't aware Who? that the band that plays during the Young Hawk Guys music is oh, yeah. that's the sleaze. That's my band. 
That's a. Woo! Woo! Shane has just ripped off his top to reveal That's your the favorite sleeve. T-shirt. It is my favorite T-shirt. It's a very good those. T-shirt. Uh, yeah, I bought it. Yeah, we have literally that T-shirt. Well, shut up, Kenny. I bought it, Tony. You didn't give him to me. I bought it. No, no I know. I didn't say that. Buy, yeah, not he's, for he free. is. He is. He's Are getting you? it free. Like his, he got his whole teeth done for free. <laughs> <laughs> he got, got teeth his whole teeth free. and arse done. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't my little bleaching. I want to get a massage. I want to get a massage. Oh, yeah, get one. Yeah. I want to like go in. I love place. massage. I think yeah. massage should be part of the mm-hmm. end of the year. Uh, it should be a, pr- a part of everyone's life. You go yeah. get massage. I, I might <clears> see <throat> if I can do like four days off the back of the vape. Okay, well I'm that's okay. On, it's a process. I'm back on the delicious teat. I I had. I'm I'm pretty good with the smokes. I did when I drank in in New York on my holiday. I did have. Two cigarettes, but wow. other than that, like Carrie that's all Bradshaw I've had. over here, this cunt. Yeah, a so, week, a week off vapes is enough for a mis- a moustache, mis- a moustache, mis- mis- moustache. Mis- okay, moustache. Mis- a week of no vape, isn't it? That's about the same price, isn't it? I was looking up massage yeah. parlors. Yeah, I feel like when you add parlor to it, it sounds like you want. To I, like. know, I know, yeah. I know, I yeah. <laughs> know. No, but my friend booked one the other day in Slogan, and he booked a Thai one, and then she was like, "Okay, yeah, yeah cool, five o'clock," and she's like. I don't do happy ending, all right? And he's like, yeah, okay. Oh, right, okay. But isn't it terrible that she actually has to say that? That's how, That's how often she gets there. hassled about it? Yeah, there was... Um, imagine asking for one. Oh. That's what I was thinking then. Imagine while you're there going, you didn't ask beforehand, you're like, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you pull me dick? As well? Like, what are you doing? Uh, please, ma'am. There should be some woke <laughs> police you can call to... to the police. The, yeah, I suppose. The yeah. police is who you can call yeah, if someone yeah, demands true. a wank from you. That's true. They just walk in and like they put the towel over your back and then they go out of the room. They come back in and then you've just moved the towel lower. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. Come across your knees. Is that what they that's do? what predators do. Oh, that's awful. Anyway, um, I found this. I was looking up good because I want. I didn't want to go to like you know one that is that mm-hmm. you know that they do offer you that. I was just looking for directions to get to get away from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a guy. You were like, I need to know everyone who'll give you a filthy massage so I can not go there. Never so go near them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was a guy who uh, <laughs> was reviewing all the ones around Dublin. I was like, oh my god, this name keeps popping up in these Google reviews. His name is Mister Massage. Oh, that's trouble. Already. And he was like, but he, but he was saying he was going like he was going same thing. It was like you know cleanliness, technique, um, atmosphere. That could all still relate like to five stars, five stars, five stars. No, but he was like, and he would give bits on each one. And he was like, you know, five stars, four stars, you know, atmosphere, five stars, whatever. And then he would have offered happy ending, yes, no. Oh my god! And then oh. it would say, and uh, some most of the time it was no. And he was, and he would say, thank god, and all this kind of stuff. But right. he was still putting that. He's, he's essentially signaling out each ones that have offered. Um, oh. happy endings I think just to clarify I think it's fine if you want to be a sex worker if you like or if you want to pay for the services of a sex worker 100%. if you like but oh, yeah. you can't mix in someone whose job is like massage that they're just like give me no, a wank there's no grey area there's no grey area there's no yeah yeah well, anyway, if you want the list, I'll pass it on. Um, do you think uh, there'd be no business in Ireland for one of those like day spas like they have in Berlin and stuff? Sure, they wouldn't. Nobody would go. Day spa yeah. or gay spa? Day, day. Okay. Like Nudie where you ones. go in. Yeah, Completely I nude. don't think they'd have that. Like, I, in, yeah, I was, I was talking about how you couldn't do that because nudity in Ireland is already like difficult. Um, and then if you're in a day spa in Berlin, you're just so unlikely you'll bump into someone you know. Whereas in Ireland, it is... Like high, high, high probability. Everywhere you go, you, you meet someone you know. So it's like you know, do I re- like you know, do I want to go to a nudie spa and and be in like you know a nice sauna and all this kind of stuff? Yes, but do I want to do that with like who's the worst person to bump into when you're nude? Peter McGann. You know, yeah, do I want to do that with Peter McGann? <laughs> yeah. um, no, I I, 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 I would be very embarrassed. You know what? I'm quite liberal <laughs> with nudity, but I'd be much more embarrassed about in front of a lady. Because oh, yeah. I don't really get nudie in front of a lady ever oh, that I'd true. be like, oh, that, I'm, I'd be embarrassed. Oh, I'd be they embarrassed. Are so, they, they, women are so nice. Uh, about you about naked? You. Yeah, yeah. They're so nice about it. Yeah. About me specifically? Well, just in, no, just about you in general, they make, you, the, the ones I've been around, they always oh, okay. say, hey, look, it's not it's that. Fine. No, it's no, it's all right. It's all, Lots it's, of it's, people have that. It happens all the time. Lots of people <laughs> have that condition. Uh, <laughs> people are really nice about it. They're like, <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's the kind of say that kind of thing. We can do something else. That's okay. We can do something okay. else. <laughs> we can put on a movie. It's okay that your balls are bigger than your penis. <laughs> they say, 
These oh, are really I, nice. I, I, do you know what I was thinking? We got a lot of nice feedback last week on the podcast last week and I was like, what was that? Was that the tension? Was that that we were having big worldly debates? And I was like, maybe it was also we talked about dicks a bit. I don't know. Now we're doing it again. <laughs> I was like, maybe we're trying to stay on something a bit more serious or whatever. And I was like, now we're straight away talking about dicks. Yeah. Like, oh God, I see. Is it okay to talk about dicks? Is that okay? There's something about January. I want to get my shit off. Like, you know what I mean? There's something about January. Like, I want to get I want to get in the nip. Like, I want to like, you know, there's something about January. Well, it's open, that's so stifled. You do it while you're there. Where you, we could go to January one of those. Um, over, isn't it? There's mm-hmm. saunas everywhere now. Yeah, saunas are amazing. I love I, it. I, I, love, I love it. I was I feel like, and you as well, Kelly. Irish culture of saunas that we we have previously unknown. Do you guys know about the Folchtfia? Yes. Yeah, but, but that's not for re- lounging and relaxing. You that was for cooking meat. That's exactly what I was. You thought that was for cooking meat, right? Folchtfia just to fill in. Just to fill in. I have cooked meat. I was a scout. I've cooked meat with a folchtfia. Just to fill in. A folchtfia is a square trench you dig in the ground and then put very water in it and very hot stones. And then and then you use it to cook meat. I've cooked a ham in a folchtfia. Took about five hours. Yeah, but what were you saying? How often did you have stones? And and people have now historians have now looked at it and gone. That's actually like a really bad way to cook meat. Oh, it's really like it's a terrible way to do it. Like there is fire. We have fire. Like, yeah. why would we make our, and tin foil? Why we, tin foil? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. So there, there is actually uh, an ancient Irish kind of uh, culture of sweat rooms, sweat rooms, mm. and they think in the folklore might have been something to, like that. They would have built something around. They the built hole. something around it, and they put the stones there. Because look at the Scandinavia. They've got, they've got uh, a culture, culture of saunas there. Ireland is a Northern European country. Why do we not have that here? Mm. We don't have trees because the English took our trees. Well, what did we do instead? The, we, we got we, hot stones and we put them in a pool of water and we built a little wooden shed around much. it and we sweat. That's what some people are thinking. And there's two, I think there's two actual sweat, like, I don't know, sweat sheds. But why would the rem- remnants, so like why would, how would they f- identify the remains of a full fear mm. and not the, the, you know, the surrounding kind of building that was the sweat Because it was lodge. probably made out of wood. The That's fullet- most, yeah. most ancient, like, Civilizations were made out of wood. That's why you don't see. But how do we even identify what a full sphere is? Because there's a hole in the ground. Well, probably what some hot stones. And in also, it. and maybe they, hot, maybe though. they found some meat inside the stones. But maybe that's just like you know the way we might put some oil or some scented stuff in Could a candle. We, they just might put a big ham in there. Maybe they carbon fourteen dated to it to make it smell nice. I once went to, and got a massage in um, Turkey. We went to a spa, um, and um, I'm just thinking I'd love to go back there and get it. And it wasn't in Turkey. That'd be very expensive. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Great respect. I was in Morocco. Never been to Turkey. We were in a Moroccan spa. and um, Moroccan roll. There was, they were doing the... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was and mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wife. And uh, so we got this a couple's treatment. And it started off where, you know, you'd go into the sauna and kind of sweat for a little bit. And then they'd bring in and do the massage. So they kind of put us both in the sauna. And I was in there and I was waiting. And then they went to go get Terry. You know, we were in the nip. And they brought Terry around and did you know did her massage or whatever or started. And I kind of thought like, oh, then they're, they're going to bring me like very shortly afterwards. They did her whole massage while I was still in the sauna, and I and I was sitting there for like half an hour, like Wait. in the sauna, and I was and I was freaking out, and I was like, this is shit, this is shit. Like I'm not having a good time here at all. This is meant to be relaxing. And then eventually they opened the thing, and I was like, <gasps> you know, and the fucking relief. And I had so I've kind of been off sauna since then. I, like, I love them. I love the one out in me, the hot box sauna. It's good. There's great ones. There's and, ones and in Sony Bar. There's more, ones the in more the better. The more the better. Yeah. That's that's something that needs to come into Irish culture and stay, like the burrito. Should it we do one after to, this? But also, yeah. can you just say that it's nice? I think this thing with the cold plunges. I don't mean. I know I shouldn't be mean about people's activities, or whatever. But I think don't lean too far into as if it's like to create this world of it's like incredible figure this that and the yeah. other. Some things are just nice. It's nice to be hot and then cold. Mm. You feel like good. And movie. when you're going home, yeah. yeah Watch the movie can be just nice. Yeah. Going for a sip, dip in the sea, mm-hmm, just nice. Mm-hmm. Don't over, I want to say pathologize it, but what's the opposite of that but for mm, a good thing? I know what you mean. Eulogize, no? No. That's when someone's died. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Totally irrelevant. So please <laughs> shut the fuck please up. Please only say shit. That you, makes sense. You know what? On behalf of the listeners, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> you googly. I'm honestly, I'm so jet lagged. I don't even, I'm saying. No, you're doing a fucking great job. You're I keep cursing. I can't help it. I'm so fucking. You're googly. I'm so excited. Um, to you're, see doing you're doing a great job. Thank you. You are doing a great job. I totally agree. Some things are just fucking nice. Just nice. Some things are nice. And I'm done. Yeah, I'm fucking done with this. It doesn't nice is enough. Yeah. It doesn't need to be the health thing that cures cancer. No. It's just a nice thing. No. I think there needs to be, we need to be at war with like, if someone, like if someone browns a bit of meat and they're like the mile hour reaction, they're like, shut up. You're just fucking oh, yeah, browning yeah, yeah. the meat. It's nice. 
Tasty. You know, it's just ta- it's yum, obviously yum, tasty. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. That's enough. You know? So that's yum, 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 enough. Yum, yum, yum is enough. I think if you know, I just I do genuinely want to think that if you keep creating these things of like why the cold water immersion, which by the way just means getting in cold water. Yes. So let's immersion. stop having titles for everything. <laughs> you know, us. cold water immersion. How you mean getting, getting in, in cold, cold water? water. You got like yeah. in a bath. Like to calm <laughs> down. If you try and put too many names on things, try and tell us about how all the various reactions and enzymes and whatever else it flows and hormones it creates mm. and all the rest of it. Everything then you, you start to really want it then. You're like, and then everything becomes not as good as it could be because you're waiting for some profound That's reaction. Exactly it. And you're missing it then. You're like, you're like, when I go in this sauna and then when I get into that hot, cold water immersion, I'm going to just feel like as if you're going to be enlightened. It's not. You're going to no. ruin it. Stop waiting for yeah, things that aren't going to happen. So stop they, doing they, it. Everyone they, calm they, down. Hold your horses. Um, you're so fucking right. Like you, you. I love you so much. It feels like man. getting cold. Yeah. yeah, they're just describing getting cold. Yeah. Like, and getting so what warm. it does is the enzyme reacts on it. It's like, mm. yeah, you get cold, you get cold, and then when you go in the sauna, guess what happens? It reacts with the your body, and what, you know it does. It makes you hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it nice. makes you hot, and then it makes it you feels cold, good for your body good. to re you to regulate its temperature back to the way it was. Yeah, yeah. To have that kind of, you know, it's just nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice, just nice, like hey. a chocolate bar. Let's go to the sauna. Um, no, we we can't. We have work. Um, mm. Let's get this done. We should we should go. To, we should book in a sauna though. After one of these, I'd love that. I yeah. love that. I love saunas. Yeah, sauna. 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 Is that the gym? I think they say sauna. Yeah, sauna. Full mm. fear. Full I don't know. By the way, that full fear stuff is literally. Jet, like, I think something my brother told me. Okay. And it's okay. it's like that's the the source of this is not like the Irish history podcast or anything like that. It's my brother told me he could have found that information from anywhere. Toilet he could have the wall. He could have just thought that while he was walking to the bus and he told mm. me and he like, you know, that's my source. I do that a lot when someone tells you something and it sounds official enough. I was once on a date in Stephen's Green and I was walking by a pond. I might have already talked about this in the pod. And um, I walked by the pond and I was like, oh, that's the pond that my... Uh, a monster pulled my dad's leg. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I haven't said that out loud in 15 years. There was no monster. <laughs> oh, that's a pond. Uh, Look, <laughs> you only, as you spoke it, realized that was a lie your dad told you. Yeah. You know, this is a funny story, actually. A monster. Because <laughs> he came home and he had like torn jeans. Like a bit of it was torn off the bottom of his jeans. And I was like, what happened? He's like, a monster pulled my leg. I'm like, where? And he's like, uh, Stephen Screen. Of course. But where? It was like a swamp monster in the pond. <laughs> What's funny is he was indeed pulling your leg. Oh! My father was. My father was a swamp monster all along. Am I the arsehole? I told my son that I'm a swamp monster. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to hire a man to play a swamp monster. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks very much, everyone. Wait, are we at the end? I'm enjoying this podcast so much. Okay, like, sorry. I also think... Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Um, <laughs> is there a way of reversing? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Just uh, because I'm also... Because I'm... So jet lag. Shut I feel up. Like if I if I stop now, I just will. Sure. It's like crash. when you're running and you. So I just got to keep talking now. For Sometimes like that when you've been busy and then you slow down, your yeah. body shuts down, doesn't it? <laughs> your body just goes into shutdown, <laughs> and you're run down. Then that's what happens, isn't it? Are you taking echinacea? I'm on the- Are you taking echinacea? <laughs> mm. Your body's run down, body's and you go into. Down. You know what happens to me? Say I'm, say I'm. You know, if I haven't been sleeping as well, I just go into shutdown. <laughs> My body goes into shutdown. You know when what I mean? When you're looking forward to something, and your body's delivered everything up to that point, and then you do it. Shuts down. It shuts down. Shuts down. It shuts down. <laughs> yeah. why, is there, why is there so yeah. much in the back of your throat? I don't know. That was, yeah. it shuts down. It shuts, it shuts down. down. I just Sounds like you're shut shutting down. down while you're saying that. It's you're kind of slowly you know, going down, my blood sugar, down your throat. My you're blood sugar can be low at times. My mum calls echinacea etchina force. Oh, God. She calls it etchina. She says, take etchina. She's like shoving it into me. Isn't that what Knuckles is from Sonic? Etchina? No, he's an echidna. Do you know Sonic? Is he not a fox? He's fast, isn't he? He's real fast. Fucking tails. tails. He's the fast rat. What is it when we He's were... an echidna. <laughs> there was a bit... Of... It's, this is... When Emma Dorn was doing the uh, show we do with the morning show, 
GTF. 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 <laughs> and she was doing <laughs> Imagine that show we do. Poor Girl, thing. Killian, you're going to be okay. You're probably going to shut down. <laughs> Delirious. But she picks up, she's doing Magic Mag, she's doing the cards, but it's uh, instead of cards, she just has Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She takes out Pikachu and she goes, that's a, uh, what's that? The yellow mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a uh, yellow mouse. <laughs> so it's like that some... means that uh, you're, you're gonna, electricity's gonna be cut off. I love Magic Mags. So good. Um, oh, well, okay. Now I feel a I'm, bit more ready to close. Yeah, I'm ready to do it. What are you gonna do to comfort yourself this evening? I'm gonna watch The Traders. I'm gonna <sighs> watch, I'm gonna Finish see the off. finale of it. Uh, and I'm gonna listen to Bambi Thug, our... Eurovision winner. Can I say one quick thing? Yeah. I Bambi Thug, and I did say this on my podcast. Tony can't sit you by the way. Um and I'm so embarrassed. I only have one podcast. You both yeah. have two. I'm just so embarrassed. Yeah, technically have I'm gonna set up you have three. I do a bonus one as well. Actually I do four. What's you do your bonus? Two. You do two. There's a bonus podcast. The bonus podcast. Oh yeah, but That's I ha- yeah. I'm only in one one no, podcast. You can't be those. Yeah, for can't be those as I'm well. gonna set up my own one. You should. Yeah. I don't. Well, I'm doing I'd, be, it. I'd be so jealous. <laughs> and you use wait and see. I'll set up my own one. Young Conk guys will plumb it. <laughs> Might do. I don't know. I Divide and conquer. As soon as you get paired with like a makeup influencer, as for a podcast, like the sky's the limit. Mm. I won't do it with a makeup influencer. But like a really popular, you know, you know, broadly accepted and loved Instagram influencer. You'd fucking anyway. Clean up. But you were saying. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> Thanks. Yes, Bambi Thug. <laughs> I really didn't think that Ireland was going to vote for Bambi Thug. I did not. I didn't think they were going to vote for, uh, I thought they would be threatened and confused by the gender fluidity of it all, to be perfectly honest. Uh, the 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 the, gen, uh, the the genre bending of it all, the fact that it's part metal, Trent Reznor, you know, like the kind of weird kind of hip hop kind of, or trip hop kind of chorus mm. Mm. and all this stuff. And to be honest, I kind of thought that the, the viewers of The Late Late Show didn't have the taste to identify mm. that that was good taste. Yeah. And and again, people can pick their own songs or whatever. If you like the boy band, then maybe that is good taste. It's not just not for my taste. Anyway, the point I'm making is it kind of was like every single time I think that Ireland is going to vote for the more conservative option mm-hmm. to a public vote, they have always voted the most progressive option. And I think I need to, and I'm, I'm not, and I am, I am equating Bambi Thug to the equality referendum and to the and to the abortion uh, referendum. I think I need to. I think I, I think I've finally come to terms with that Ireland actually is not a really conservative country. I think we have conservative mm-hmm. representation on TV and in the doll, but I actually think that people day to day are uh, maybe that's just leading with empathy or leading with uh, you know compassion. But it's kind of changed my perspective to be honest on Ireland. I was on Ireland. When I, I was think, in, uh, I think people are in New York. They, they asked fight. me what uh, what was we were talking about the years we were born, and they said, "What was it like in Ireland when when, when you were born?" I was like, "I wasn't actually born in Ireland, but Ireland when I was born, nineteen ninety three, divorce was illegal. You know, uh, gay marriage was illegal, and I was like, gay sex, gay, gay sex existence was, was illegal, decriminalized. Decrim- that year. And then mm. I, I was like, and then we, uh, you know, we got gay marriage, we got divorce, we got marriage." Uh, we got we got marriage abortion we got divorce we got mm-hmm. abortion and then this very year just today yeah. Yeah. we got Bambi Thug <laughs> representing us at Eurovision these are all the pivotal moments of Irish history and I feel yeah. like we've now finally the shackles are gone we are liberated and we're going to win the Eurovision for- the only reason I say that right I know it's not I'm, I'm conflating the two but I, I think I actually just I think when I moved back to uh, Ireland from London, I was kind of thinking, oh, is Ireland kind of conservative or whatever like that? I think I just need to drop my whole shtick. I don't think I, I think I got to give Irish and Ireland more credit for actually being prog- more progressive than I thought it was. Yes. That's it. What do you think? I think. I'm wrong? No. Or should I have that all along? No, I'm agreeing with you, but I think you must remain vigilant. There's plenty of. Uh, um... No, that's not what we're saying. It's fixed now, and we don't need to worry yeah, about but it. Anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, understand yeah. what you mean. No, you're right. You're it's very right. Yeah. It's not over. You're right, but also thank you, Ireland. But you're right. Mm. And what's another year to someone who's lost everything? Everything. He Can I just. Won't. Fun what's fact? another year? Sorry, fun fact. Someone the who's getting who used wrote, to being just, alone. This is such a good fact. This is such a good fact. No, you know that? Yes. That's written by Fiona Rian. Mm. Fiona Rian, my dear friend in New York City, uh, but he's from Ireland. And his granddad, Shea Healy, Mm. wrote What's Another Year? Mm. And he won the Eurovision. The legend Shea Healy. So This really is a podcast with all kinds of everything in it. (laughs) 
All kinds of, of everything. everything remind me of you. Hold my hand. Oh. Snowdrops. No, it's done. Remind me of We were the rock and roll kids. Rock and roll was all we did. No. Oh, listen to the now we never seem to rock and roll anymore. Eve Kavanaugh literally records her podcast. Can, yeah. think we can get her in we here. The legend. Scream in the in no one else can That's the sing one. that song That's the bit. except yeah. her. So. so look, thanks very much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Slon. Dinner. The track. The A little bit sad. He was the best guy around. Oh my, oh my, is it hot in here or what? You're an attractive guy. It's the fabulous Tony Cantwell. I'm talking about Shane Daniel Burnett. Idiots,